Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is officially autumn. We are officially in it. We're doing the autumn vlogs. We're going to Barnes and Noble. Um, I'm actually about to leave. Um, and I also have some footage of when Harold and I went to a local bookshop and when I went to Half Price Books. So I'm just gonna combine all of that footage and basically we're gonna go to three different bookstores and I'll end up doing a collective book haul once I get back. Um, and this will probably be my last Last book haul for I want to say the the rest of this year um, hopefully so I pretty much want to start utilizing the library more which I really started doing that over the summer um, and now it's going to be even easier to access library books because I recently got a Kindle and this is honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made. I take her everywhere with me. She is my new best friend. I named her Penelope and I also got a cute little pop socket to go on the back. Um, I ordered it from Etsy. I think it should be here next week, but I am so excited for that. Um, but basically I am able to access all of these free ebooks through the library by using the Libby app. So I go on my phone, I use the Libby app, I pick the book I want, and then there's this um, option to read with your Kindle and then it pops up on your Kindle. It's amazing, it's magical, and I just can't believe that it's a thing. Like, I just love how easy it is, how convenient it is, and the fact that I can carry around an entire library of books, it just makes me so happy. So I'm definitely going to try to utilize that and I hopefully won't be spending as much money on books anymore. So <laughs> before I go to Barnes and Noble, I'll just show you a couple of features on this really quick. So I am currently reading The Flat Share and this is what it looks like. And then I've definitely been reading before bed ever since I purchased this because I love to read with like the lights dimmed and you know just like a very cozy environment but that's kind of hard to do when you have just a regular book but with this it has a built-in light so I definitely use that feature a lot um, before I go to bed and then it also tells you how many more minutes are left in the chapter that you're reading and then i will also tell you the percentage of how far along you are in the story so i think you can also attach your um, amazon account to your goodreads and then it will automatically update your goodreads that's something i haven't done yet but i will definitely look into that but anyway i really love this and um, yeah, so this will be my last book haul for a while. I'll still purchase physical books, um, but it probably just won't be as often. So yeah, let's go to Barnes & Noble. Okay, I've got my cozy sweater on and it is freezing out. It's like as soon as it hit the first day of fall, it was like a switch went on and it is just the perfect crisp sweater wearing weather. <laughs>
back. I am joined with Ellie and Luna, and I have four different books. Um, the first two are books that I picked up at Half Price Books. So, oh hi Hugo! <laughs> um, the first one is Clockwork Prince. This is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. I read this trilogy over the summer and I had originally borrowed them from the library, but I ended up loving them so much that I wanted to own them. So I really wanted to collect the hardback editions. So I had the first one and the third one and I was keeping an eye out for the second one. I finally found it and I ended up finding Finding the collector's first edition which is so exciting and then also from Cassandra Clare I picked up Chain of Gold and this is the sequel trilogy to this trilogy so this follows the story of the children from these characters and I was so emotionally invested in these characters so I'm really really excited for this I thought that this cover was perfect for October so I'm gonna save this for my October TBR and then at Barnes & Noble I picked up two paperbacks the first one is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I thought this cover was so cute and I have heard so many great things about Sarah Adams. I've heard that she writes really wholesome closed door romances and that's kind of what I've been looking for and so I think I will really enjoy her books. And this one follows the story of a pop star named Amelia and she is very inspired to go on a holiday after watching Audrey Hepburn's film Roman Holiday so instead of going to actual Rome she goes to Rome Kentucky where she falls in love with a grumpy pie shop owner named Noah so this is a sunshine grumpy trope which I love and it's also a small town romance so really excited for that one and then the last book is my most anticipated book for October this is the very secret society of irregular witches I love this cover it looks so cozy and so magical and I have heard that this book kind of has Mary Poppins vibes and it says that it is a warm and witchy hug of a book are you a sleepy boy? <laughs> Hugo! Hey, sleepy? You cozy boy? to Matcha Midnights, the segment of the video where we talk about books in the middle of the night and drink matcha. Uh, it's not actually midnight, <laughs> but it feels like midnight because it gets dark so early. Um, it's actually only 8.30, um, but I figured Matcha Midnights would be a good name because I'm always drinking matcha and midnights you know is a good word because Taylor Swift's Midnight's album is coming out soon so yeah I wanted to give you guys a reading update of uh, When in Rome by Sarah Adams so I am currently halfway through and I am loving it so much it's so sweet it's so cozy and the small town reminds me of Gilmore Girls and I love the main characters but I I also really love the side characters so Noah has three sisters his youngest sister is named Annie and she's kind of like a modern day Beth March she is just such an angel and she owns a flower shop which is right next to Noah's pie shop and it's so cute and I was looking on Sarah's Instagram and I saw that there is going to be a book from Annie's point of view and I'm so excited so it's set to be released next year 
in May and this is what the cover looks like. It's called Practice Makes Perfect. And my favorite character so far is Mabel. She is, uh, she's basically like a grandmother figure and she has known Noah his entire life. And um, she knows that Noah is really hesitant to jump back into a romantic relationship, but she can tell that he really likes Amelia. So Mabel is the one that kind of nudges them closer together and she is just, she's amazing. I love her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really loving it. I think I want to read the cheat sheet next if I can get my hands on it through the library. I'm pretty sure I can get it through my Kindle, but there may be a long wait list because I know it's very popular. But if I can get my hands on it, then I'll add it to my October TBR, but yeah. So those are my thoughts on When in Rome so far. I'll give you my final thoughts in my September wrap up video. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining my Matcha Midnight's segment. I think that's going to be it for this week's vlog. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!